the names Tim McGraw and Faith Hill have been so rhythmically sensed for two decades that it seems as though these two people have become one entity. McGraw and Hill met way back in the 90s when romance had a different definition. Know more about Tim McGraw and Faith Hill's relationship and their The Soul to Soul tour. How did it all start? Tim McGraw and Faith Hill have been married for 20 years now, and the couple looks more in love than ever before. Their famous love story in marriage needs no introduction, but where did it all begin? Well, Faith Hill, Nee Perry, was married to Daniel Hill in the late 80s. He was a music publishing executive, and she was an aspiring singer. Faith struggled hard to find a breakthrough. She worked odd jobs, sold t-shirts, and worked at a McDonald's outlet. But then, she found a job at a music publishing firm, and it was there that a co-worker heard Faith sing and encouraged her to record a demo. During one of her backup singing performances, a Warner Bros. Records executive liked Faith's voice so much that he offered her a contract. A little while after her first album came out, she divorced her first husband, Daniel Hill, in 1994. Tim McGraw at the time was already working on his second album and was doing great as a country singer. His album, All I Want, topped the country charts in 1995 and sold 2 million copies. By the next year, his tour was known as the most successful in country music history. Hill did a supporting act on one of his tours. But at the time, she was engaged to Scott Hendricks who is a producer. Was it love at first sight for Hill and McGraw? Faith Hill broke off her engagement so that she could start dating Tim McGraw and the rest is history. The couple tied the knot on October 6, 1996, and have been together ever since. The Duet of Two Lovebirds Tim McGraw and Faith Hill began recording duets and going on tours together, and they had fans eating right out of their palms. The husband and wife team in love, and the concept of singing on stage as a couple worked like magic, and they became the most watched and hunted couple in the country music scene. This power couple has been entertaining fans worldwide since 2000. And, their Soul to Soul tour established its place among the most awaited tours in country music. Everybody wanted to be like Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. The happy couple just charged ahead together in their careers, as well as in their personal lives. The couple sang hits including, Like We Never Loved At All, Let's Make Love, and Angry All The Time giving fans the kind of romantic songs they had never heard before. Most of their tours would sell out. And records would fly off the shelves, putting the singing duo right on top of any chart in country music. They celebrated their 21st anniversary this October. They have three children, Gracie Catherine, 20, Maggie Elizabeth, 19, and Audrey Carolyn, 15. Faith Hill's Instagram is full of performances with her ever-fit husband. Occasionally, she'll share pictures of her daughters, who are all grown up now. Hill promoted the Soul to Soul tour heavily on social media. And now, they are extending the tour worldwide. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill on tour. The Soul to Soul tour 2017 began in April in New Orleans and ended in Brooklyn. The couple is set to travel to the UK, Ireland, and Scotland from March 2018 and returned to North America for a second leg of the tour. The concert tour, which has grossed over $50.0 million already, contains duets as well as solo performances by the Grammy Award-winning singers. Tim McGraw and Faith Hill's combined net worth is estimated at $145.0 million. With opening acts by brothers Osborne, Brandy Clark, High Valley, and others, the concerts only prove how much their fans still love Tim McGraw and Faith Hill on stage. If you missed the couple this time, don't forget to catch them in Richmond, Charleston, and in Lexington in 2018, when they return for the leg two of the tour.